Section 104 A revelation given at Kirtland, Ohio, February 24, 1834, through Joseph Smith, Jr. to the Lord's Friends. Instructions are given to Sidney Rigdon, Parley P. Pratt, Lyman White, Joseph Smith, Jr., Lyman Johnson, Hiram Smith, Frederick G. Williams, Orson Hyde, and Orson Pratt. Verily I say unto you, my friends, behold, I will give unto you a revelation and commandment that you may know how to act in the discharge of your duties concerning the salvation and redemption of your brethren who have been scattered from the land of Zion, being driven and smitten by the hands of my enemies, on whom I will pour out of my wrath without measure, in my own time. For I have suffered them thus far that they might fill up the measure of their iniquities that their cup might be full, and that those who call themselves after my name might be chastened for a little season with a sore and grievous chastisement, because they did not hearken altogether unto the precepts and commandments which I gave unto them. But verily I say unto you that I have decreed a decree, which my people shall realize, inasmuch as they hearken from this hour unto the counsel which I, the Lord their God, shall give unto them. Behold, they shall, for I have decreed it, begin to prevail against my enemies from this very hour, and by hearkening to observe all the words which I, the Lord their God, shall speak unto them, they shall never cease to prevail, until the kingdoms of the world are subdued under my feet and the earth is given unto the saints to possess it for ever and ever. But inasmuch as they keep not my commandments and hearken not to observe all my words, the kingdoms of the world shall prevail against them. For they were set to be a light unto the world, and to be the saviors of men, and inasmuch as they are not the saviors of men they are as salt that has lost its savor and is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the feet of men. But verily I say unto you, I have decreed that your brethren who have been scattered shall return to the lands of their inheritances and build up the waste places of Zion. For after much tribulation, as I have said unto you in a former commandment, comes the blessing. Behold, this is the blessing which I promised after your tribulations, and the tribulations of your brethren, your redemption, and the redemption of your brethren, even their restoration to the land of Zion, to be established, no more to be thrown down. Nevertheless, if they shall pollute their inheritances, they shall be thrown down, for I will not spare them if they shall pollute their inheritances. Behold, I say unto you that the redemption of Zion must needs come by power, therefore I will raise up unto my people a man who shall lead them like as Moses led the children of Israel, for you are the children of Israel and of the seed of Abraham, and you must needs be led out of bondage by power and with a stretched out arm. And as your fathers were led at the first, even so shall the redemption of Zion be. Therefore, let not your hearts faint, for I say not unto you as I said unto your fathers, My angel shall go up before you, but not my presence. But I say unto you, My angel shall go up before you, and also my presence, and in time you shall possess the goodly land. Verily, verily I say unto you that my servant Joseph is the man to whom I liken the servant, to whom the Lord of the vineyard spoke in the parable which I have given unto you. Therefore, let my servant Joseph say unto the strength of my house, my young men and the middle-aged, gather together unto the land of Zion, upon the lands which I have bought with monies that have been consecrated unto me. And let all the churches send up wise men with their monies, and purchase lands even as I have commanded them. And inasmuch as my enemies come against you, to drive you from my goodly land which I have consecrated to be the land of Zion, even from your own lands, after these testimonies which you have brought before me against them, you shall curse them. And whomsoever you curse, I will curse, and you shall avenge me of my enemies, and my presence shall be with you, even in avenging me of my enemies unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Let no man be afraid to lay down his life for my sake, for whoever lays down his life for my sake shall find it again, and whoever is not willing to lay down his life for my sake is not my disciple. It is my will that my servant Sidney should lift up his voice in the congregations in the eastern countries, in preparing the churches to keep the commandments which I have given unto them concerning the restoration and redemption of Zion. It is my will that my servant Parley and my servant Lyman White should not return to the land of their brethren until they have obtained companies to go up unto the land of Zion, by tens, or by twenties, or by fifties, or by a hundred, until they have obtained unto the number of five hundred of the strength of my house. Behold, this is my will, ask and you shall receive. But men do not always do my will, therefore if you cannot obtain five hundred, seek diligently that peradventure you may obtain three hundred. 
and if you cannot obtain 300, seek diligently that peradventure you may obtain 100. But verily I say unto you, a commandment I give unto you that you shall not go up unto the land of Zion until you have obtained a hundred of the strength of my house to go up with you unto the land of Zion. Therefore, as I said unto you, ask and you shall receive. Pray earnestly, that peradventure my servant Joseph may go up with you, and preside in the midst of my people, and organize my kingdom upon the consecrated land, and establish the children of Zion upon the laws and commandments which have been given and which shall be given unto you. All victory and glory is brought to pass unto you through your diligence, faithfulness, and prayers of faith. Let my servant Parley journey with my servant Joseph. Let my servant Lyman Johnson journey with my servant Sidney, let my servant Hiram journey with my servant Frederick, let my servant Orson Hyde journey with my servant Orson Pratt, wherever my servant Joseph shall counsel them in obtaining the fulfillment of these commandments which I have given unto you, and leave the residue in my hands. Even so, Amen.